All right, hey guys, welcome to our Monday Night Dream Team Zoom. Um, I'm just gonna be, well, you're you're all my people, so I'm just gonna be super honest. I didn't even know what to talk about today. Like I was just having one of those days where I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know what the topic should be. I have no clue. So I reached out to a couple of people on the team and I was like, you know, what do you think? What do you think? And we went through everything from very detailed things about like how to do three-way chats and, and stuff like that. But then she mentioned, you know, just getting re-inspired for your business and how she was actually bummed out that she had missed a bonus earlier in the month, but how all the work she did for that had led into this. Um, and so I started thinking about like all the ways that we do have to constantly re-inspire ourselves. And so just for my, I'll just give you a little, little background. Um, you guys all know we took a trip in December. It was a planned vacation. And I so struggled with the vacation part, like not posting all the time, not checking in all the time, but I was like, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation. I'm going to, I'm going to be on vacation. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that messes with my head. So then we got back from that and I kind of felt like I was getting back in my groove. And then we had a surprise trip, which was also still a vacation, but it was also that weird time period between Christmas and new year's where you don't even know what day of the week it is. And not, you're not even sure whatever, what's going on. And so honestly, when it was like time to hit January one, I felt so disconnected from my routine and so like out of place. And so like, I don't even know what to do now. What am I going to talk about? Like, how do I log into Facebook? <laughs> like, I just felt so out of it that it's been a real struggle, to like get back on the horse. Um, but some things that I always try to remind myself of, and it's like, it, it's, it's just like the basics of the basic, but like an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. And when I get off the course like that, and I'm in that resting phase, it's so easy to get stuck, like in that little divot. So I just have to remind myself, I just need to do one thing. Just let's just do one thing. Like I will have this conversation. I'm like, all right, Tammy, one thing, what is one thing you can do? And that could maybe be like, I'm going to make a Facebook post, or maybe it's, I'm going to send a message to somebody, but I just do that one thing to try to get that wheel rolling again. And sometimes it's harder to get that wheel rolling again. Like, um, you know, there's several people on our team going through some hugely dramatic, traumatic events in their life right now. And maybe the one thing they do every day is just the one thing they get done, but that is going to keep that motion going. And that's going to help pull you or me out of it. Um, so anytime I get in that little funk, I try to remind myself, like the best way to get going again is to do something to start the ball rolling. It doesn't have to be, um, something amazing. Even it's not like you like, I think a lot of times we put the pressure on ourselves, like, okay, I've been really slow or I've been really out of it. I'm going to do 50 reach outs today. And then that overwhelms you or you don't, I mean, you've gone from not doing any to like, now you think you have to do 50. And so then somehow it gets pushed off to the next day, or you only, maybe you do 10 and then you berate yourself because you did 10 instead of 50 or 10. That's great. That's 10 more than you would have done. Right. So it's just a matter of like, um, keeping going, always trying to do like, something else I remind myself of it's so it's called marginal gains it's it's across the board everywhere in life basically there's this thing called the one percent rule so if you were to do one percent better every day for a year you make like a 37 percent improvement in whatever it is you're doing so um let's say it's for your business I'm gonna you know every day I'm gonna do so if you start with one reach out then the next day you do two reach outs like you do just one percent better just a little bit better every single day that over time will add up on the flip side. If you get 1% worse every day for a year, you go almost to zero. Like you get to like, I think 90, like 0.98 something of like productivity. So I know you guys probably laugh every time we do this, but like the little farmer that I love to watch on YouTube, like he has a rule of doing something every day to get 1% better in some way, shape or form in their home, their business, their health. So even if he only has maybe 10 minutes between farm chores, he might take a walk on purpose for his health. Or maybe he's had like a chicken coop that they've used for years, but they got some problems with it. And he's only got 10 minutes to maybe make a repair, but 10 minutes of a repair is a start versus no repair, right? So when you can look at your business and what you aren't doing that you know you want to do, 
but it might seem overwhelming, or maybe you feel like you're stuck, if you can just break it down to 1%. So it could even, I mean, for some of you, it could just even be, I haven't checked my cloud. And you know, like some of you may not have seen your cloud in the last month or the last week, or maybe even the last day. It could be just as much as checking your cloud. Some of you maybe haven't checked in with your team members in forever. It could just be a matter of being like, okay, I'm gonna pick the first five names on my team that pop up and I'm gonna just send them a message that says hi. That is just that 1%, that one little bit of thing that you can do to get yourself back in the game, to get yourself mentally back in the game. And you just start to feel that momentum build versus being like, oh my gosh, I've got 37 people on my team. I haven't talked to them. I need to send out 37 emails, but blah, blah, blah. Like just that overwhelms yourself. So if you can just keep your mind on that 1% rule, you will definitely start to see yourself getting better. And you guys, that's, that's for those of you, like, I mean, I think it's super important for us to be a product of the product. Um, there may be some of you on here who haven't even been taking your capsules and shakes properly for the last month. Maybe you got off um, the routine back in December or something like during the holidays. So even that, just that 1% change of getting back in your capsules first thing in the morning, getting your shake in with the 20 to 40 minutes. Like those are the 1% things that you can start doing that seems so unimportant and so minute that you just, you don't even think it's going to make a difference. But when you do that every day repetitively and it grows and it grows and you get that 37% improvement, that's where you're going to have lasting business. That's where you're going to have lasting traction for your business. Um, I think it's, it's a mistake a lot of times that we think we have to wake up every day passionate about our job, or we have to wake up every day bouncing off the walls because we're a promoter, or we have to wake up every day feeling fantastic and ready to share with the world. Yeah, that's all great and good, but you're also a human and crap's going to happen. And like I said, it could be something very traumatic, or it could even be something as small as just not, I don't know, just getting off of your routine over the weekend, maybe one weekend, and you just kind of feel like you fell off. So instead of staying in that rut, for whatever reason, doing something, even something small, will help build you back up to help get you re-inspired. So a lot of people are like, well, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just, I'm in a rut. I'm you know, okay, well, what have you done to inspire yourself? Right away, people are like, well, I guess I need to listen to a podcast, or I guess I need to read a book. No, 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 no. What do you, what are you going to do to inspire yourself? Not looking at outside sources. So something that you could do would be to make that post you've been putting off, send that reach out you've been putting off. Um, heck, it could be as easy as placing your, your own personal order if you've been lollygagging and you're going to run out of capsules next week, right? So something that you do for yourself that you can now be inspired and accomplished. And so part of this kind of relates to like procrastination. Um, oh, I wonder if I can see this while we're on. I'm going to how do I do this by rolling the thing? So anyway, I saw a quote earlier. Nope, I cannot minimize my Zoom. Okay, all right, cool. I don't know if I'll be, so the, anyway, I saw a quote and it was basically something to the extent of when you procrastinate, it's this attitude that God owes you more time and that you can make it up later and how arrogant it is of us to even think that we are owed anything more or less more time. So whenever I start feeling like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow, I don't feel like doing it today, or I'll send that email tomorrow, or I'll do those reach outs tomorrow, I remind myself of that quote, even though I apparently, I have to look it up. I mean, I, I know it, but I don't know it by heart. But anyway, I just remind myself, like, that's arrogant of me to assume, it, to, to even assume that I get tomorrow, and to assume that tomorrow is going to go so well and so smoothly that I'm going to feel like doing it tomorrow. Because that's the thing, you're not always going to feel like doing your job. You're just not always going to feel like doing it. But when you can break it down into small, simple steps, which is what we have, the 54321, even if you can't get all 54321 done, if you get one of the five done, that's going to be the thing that will spark your momentum. And again, it's a matter of not putting it off, not assuming you can do it tomorrow. But it's also when you do finally take that step. So like, you know, when I was in my funk and I was feeling so out of sorts, it's so random. But the second I sent like that first message, I was like, oh. Oh, okay. All right. This is this not bad. Then I send a second message. And you guys, these aren't <laughs> these aren't amazing messages or even hard, but it was just, it was like that ripping the band-aid off scenario, right? So um I heard a quote the other day too that I did write down that I want to share. It's pretty easy. So every single day you have two choices. You can evolve or you can repeat. And that hit me like a rock when I read it a few days ago. Because I had been on repeat for several days. 
and it wasn't, it wasn't like a good repeat. You know, like when you're doing awesome and you're feeling golden, you're like, yeah, repeat that every day. I wasn't even a good repeat. Like I wasn't feeling great about what I was getting done or not getting done, but I was on repeat. And I was like, dang, I have to evolve. And so even if the only thing you do is one small thing to stop that repeat and make the next day look a little different to start evolving in the direction you want to go, maybe it's um, drink a glass of water instead of um, a diet ginger ale, Tammy. <laughs> You know, those are my kryptonite. I love them. Um, or maybe it's, uh, I don't know, add, you know, drink that activate and hit the road versus um, sitting down and opening up your cell phone to play on Instagram. Like there's something you're going to do to, to break that repeat, to break that cycle so that you can make today evolve. But evolving isn't like you don't wake up tomorrow and you're like, Ta -da, I've evolved, right? You all know evolving is a slow process. Like it takes time, but you see people evolve over years and you see things evolve over the years. And so if you can keep that in mind, that just one small thing every day in the direction of evolving versus repeat is going to be what gets you there. That's going to be the thing that can help reignite just you mentally. Um, a lot of times when we're not doing the things we know we want to do or the things we feel like we need to do. Like how many times have you said in your head at some point in time of the day, oh, I haven't done this reach out yet. I got to get those reach outs done. I have not followed up with my auto shippers. Yet. I've got to follow up my auto shippers. And then a couple hours later, like, oh, I have not, I have not done what I said I was going to do. I've got to do this. And it starts to weigh on you. It literally starts to pull you down versus, you know what? I'm going to stop the repeat. And I know I can't get all 10 of them done, but I'm going to do one right now. I'm going to make that 1% change. And, and honestly, if you, if after that 1%, you close your eyes and start a new day, okay, you did 1% more than you would have done. And that will add up for you. Uh, so with all that in mind, part of what started this, this thought process was, so we just finished the line of four promo. And then today they dropped the 50% um, bonus commission uh, promo. And it's only for seven days. And I know a lot of people were kind of panicking, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, how do they expect me to do this in seven days? I only have seven days. Well, I need you to know, unless you're brand new, unless you signed up today, they're not expecting you to have done this in seven days. They are expecting that prior to this bonus being dropped, that you've been doing your 1% improvement every day, that you've been doing, you've been sending out your messages, you've been planting seeds. The planting of the seed is not the pretty part. It just isn't. Any of you that have ever gardened, you get all the supplies together, you buy everything, you're so excited, you prep everything, you put the seed in the ground and then freaking nothing happens for the longest time, like nothing. And some things will finally sprout, like sprout up and they'll, they'll move kind of quickly. And then some things will sprout and they stay in that little tiny stage for like six weeks. And you think that if you got maybe a bad seed and like nothing's gonna flourish. And then all of a sudden, the very end of summer, you have the most beautiful flower ever. But you, back in March and April and May, you were like, bag it, I got a bad seed. I'm not, nothing's gonna come from this. So the planting of the seed is not the pretty part. And I know we all love the pretty part. I, I, you guys, I love being like, I got a new customer. I love having a new thriver. I love earning bonuses. I love like winning. Don't I love winning. Like I'm a competitive person, but I know I can't win if I'm not willing to do the work. And so that's where, that's where we want, I want to talk to you about always being in the process of getting better and doing the work so that when things like this do pop up, you're better, you're in a much better um, position to earn a bonus. And so I don't know, Sam, I don't know if you're, if this is a good time for you or not, because I think you look like you're eating. Are you okay? I'm not eating, I'm just slicing up avocados so we can have guacamole burgers later. Oh, well, I'll be right there. It's, it's only 5.45 here. <laughs> PJ, you moved to the, the right house. Anyway, so the reason I, that I wanted Sam to hop on here, oh, how funny. The reason I wanted Sam to hop on here is because we were talking earlier today and she's already, I don't want to like take her thunder, but she's already made huge progress just today of the new promo. But I want Samantha to talk about why, like how that's already happened. She's it's day one of the promo and she's already like set herself up really well. So Sam, take it over. 
Okay, so yes, I have made progress, but guys, I haven't gotten any new orders, so <laughs> I'm not that good. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But I've got 11 new customer accounts. Since I spoke with Tammy, I've gotten two more. I had nine earlier and now I'm up to 11. Um, but it's not magic and it's not luck. <laughs> um, when I, I'm gonna go into another room because these kids are loud. <laughs> when I um, started, um, not started. I mean, we always have goals every single month, right? Like, so I never really stopped working and reaching out, but I know that I do a phase of where I was really working with my team and not bump. We had the double triple. So it's like all promoters. Hold on. There's a child crying. Okay. You're also, you're breaking up. The room you went into caused you to break up quite a bit. Everyone, please hold. <laughs> Look, they're both on mute. Somebody must be getting in trouble. We need TJ to give us the play-by-play. -play. I know, yeah. We need to <laughs> it wasn't a fun play-by-play. -play. We've got little ones here that aren't normally here, and it's a um, weird time of day. Okay. <laughs> Their mom will be here soon to pick them up. But anyway, um, I was focusing a lot on my team, which is, I enjoy doing that. That fills my cup. I like checking in with my team, working with my team, helping people break ranks, but I noticed when the last promo had launched the GPOT promo, I'm like, I don't really know who I'm going to follow up with. Like, who am I going to talk to? Um, so I really started putting work in and I had it in my mind. I'm going to get this. I can get four new customers. You know, I can do this. And it wasn't that easy. <laughs> and I was discouraged when I, you know, yesterday and I'm like, I have not won not one. I got some um, customer accounts, but what I really did was get samples out. So when I get emails, when I get people's emails and I set them up for an account, I don't just get an email to get an e email. I get an email because I'm gonna I'm gonna send them a sample. So I have samples out. I started working with my sample people today, which I had already been doing. The girl I have a sample out to, she's on too. And she's like, my husband took a sip of her, of his, um, of my lifestyle mix and he really liked it. So can he get a sample? And my mom wants a sample now and my sister. So she has given me like five, I've gotten like five customer accounts from her today and they them are getting samples which means what's that gonna happen like that's going to turn into orders hopefully right. I mean I'm gonna work with her to do that but I also right. double checked today that the USA Today promo is still valid and you can use credits on it yeah. so I'm I'm sweetening the deal with 10 more dollars off and I'm running with that. So that is like my strategy, but the ultimate like point to all of this is I didn't just wake up today. Like, okay, I'm going to get this promo and just get 11 new customer accounts. I've been doing the work to build up to this. So now I had momentum to work with today when I woke up and I'm like, okay, it's a new chance. Like I'm super grateful that we have another chance with another promo. But if you guys listen to Jason Camper on the, on the corporate call, he said there would be lots of opportunity up until Thrive Palooza. So I am going to continue doing what I'm doing because I don't want to miss another one. I want to make all of them. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And that way, whenever um, we get to Thrive Palooza, we have something to celebrate. So that's my strategy. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Um, so basically, Sam's been doing the ugly planting part. And unfortunately, that ugly planting did not, nothing bloomed for her at this last promo, but nothing would be blooming for her now had she not done that work. So anytime you start getting in the funk, and I think, Another point I want to make really quick, 
I love to have people share on our Zooms about how what they're doing and how well it works. But the second you start to compare yourself with their success, you that's where you have to be like, okay, I can either repeat or evolve. So a lot of times we will see someone succeeding and immediately, instead of being like, gosh, I could learn from them. What are they doing? It's immediate, like, what am I doing wrong? What is she doing that I'm not doing? How come she's having so much success and I'm not? Well, first of all, that's there's a mindset shift right there that needs to happen. Um, it's very important to not compare yourself to anyone ever. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're going to be in the Olympics and you're going to be running next to someone, you can compare yourself. But in life, no. Um, you have no idea what's going on in someone's world. You have no idea the background, the back, the work they've done to get there. So if I had just had Samantha come on today and be like, hey guys, I got 11 new customer accounts. And that's all we said. You would all think that she was magic. <laughs> you would be like, I have to learn to take better, you know, uh, wonderful selfies because Sam's selfies are so pretty. Um, you would start immediately thinking of things that she must do that you don't know how to do or that you're ill-equipped to do. Versus instead she got on and explained those, those accounts came from samples that she's been working on over the last month. So always remember there is work in the background that you are not seeing when you see people succeed in anything, but especially in business and especially in this business. Um, so keep that in mind when you start to feel that jealousy or that comparison um, or that almost like not depression, but where you start to like feel really crappy about yourself because you don't, I don't, I'm not doing as good as she is. Um, just remind yourself, this is my moment. I can either repeat or evolve. And if you've been on repeat with that in your head of comparing yourself to someone else, or you've been on repeat with like, I'm in a funk, I don't know what to do. Or that repeat of like, I don't know who to talk to. I don't have any new customers. Um, maybe I don't, maybe I shouldn't even be doing this. Like whatever it is you have on repeat, you are choosing to keep it on repeat. And I know that's some tough love, but it's true. You are choosing to keep it on repeat. And that's a conversation I have with myself all the time. So you can either repeat over and over and stay where you are and spin your wheels, or you can evolve, right? How many, like, you know, I'm, we've all, we've all driven, Have you ever been stuck in the mud or stuck in the snow and you just keep hitting the gas and you just keep spinning and nothing's happening. But for some reason, what do we do? We just keep hitting the gas because we're like, eventually this is going to happen. I'm going to come out of here. And how do you finally come out of there with the help of someone else? Someone has to push or pull or tow, but you don't get out of there by yourself, right? So it's the same with business and in life. If you are spinning your wheels and you're on repeat, stop, take a deep breath and ask for help. Who And, and help can come in many, many forms. It could be something like being on the Zoom tonight. Maybe this is the Zoom you needed to hear. And that There's your help. You're welcome. <laughs> or it could be, reaching out to someone and saying, Hey, I really see that you are killing it at X, Y, Z. And I want to learn from you. How, how are you doing this? That could be the help versus, you know, you doing all the negative self-talk. So anyway, I want you to think about this evolve or repeat. I want you to leave with the 1% rule. I don't care where you are now, as long as every single day you do something to get 1% better. <clears throat> like I, I think about this with my, my house all the time. <clears throat> during the, the warmer months when we are just so crazy busy, stuff just goes where it may. <laughs> so then in the colder months like this, where we're like at home, stuck inside, I will clean out a cabinet today. Tomorrow, I will clean out a drawer. The next day, I might clean out a shelf. Like I will slowly but surely get everything back to where it belongs. But if I woke up tomorrow and said, okay, I've got today to totally rearrange and clean this house and organize everything from top to bottom. Whoa. I can't even finish the sentence without getting overwhelmed. <laughs> and I would also immediately be like, well, I should go to Target and buy stuff to organize, right? Um, Courtney says, I will be honest, I had forgotten about the sample website until yesterday. I shared it on a post and two people who didn't even like or comment on that post requested one. I'm definitely gonna utilize, utilize it more. Yes, I will agree with that, Courtney. We have so many resources. Sometimes it's hard to remember all the resources we have. Um, so yeah, you guys, we, you like earlier today, I wasn't busy, but I didn't feel well. So I needed to like, I needed to get a post out and I couldn't even like think of one. So I just went to the Lavelle fan page and shared one. Easy peasy, right? I'll do something creative later. Um, then, you know, maybe you're like looking at a, we have a YouTube channel we can share. We have the sample website we can share. We have, you have your own link. 
I mean, don't share your link maybe openly, you know, because Facebook and all that jazz, but you have the ability to share your link. You can send it to someone in a message. You can put it in. Um, don't forget on Instagram, you can actually share your links now on your stories. And that's a great place to pop your link in for people to click it and touch it. Um, so keep those things in mind. And again, if you're in a funk and you're like, man, I want to, I know, you know, Sam's talking about samples and I haven't done a sample in forever. Okay. Stop. Ask for help. Courtney just gave you help. Have you forgotten that you have a sample website that you could just be sharing openly that people can click on and get? Maybe some of you forgot. There's your help right there. So again, instead of like getting, spinning your wheels, let's all work together to help. There are so many amazing, talented, like intelligent beyond anything I could come up with of people on this team to pull from. Like you have so much support, it's unreal, but nobody knows to support you if you're not asking for help. So if you are spinning your wheels and you are feeling stuck and you're feeling uninspired, this Zoom was for you. I want you to ask for help. I want you to talk to yourself, <laughs> like have that conversation. Okay, Tammy, I've been on repeat. Let's get off a repeat. What are we going to do to evolve? What are we going to do to take a next step forward? How are we going to improve 1% today before we go to bed to improve our business? Because that will improve our mood. You'll, I don't, you guys, it's just a snowball effect. You know, when you're worried or stressed out about something, you don't sleep well, you don't eat well, all the things. So if you just make that one step towards your business, you will feel better. All right. Anyway, now I'm rambling. So I hope this helped you guys. Sam, thanks for sharing. Uh, good luck with all the kids in the house. TJ, enjoy your burgers. They sound delicious. Bye.